What will Johannesburg look like after a nuclear war? Nations unleashing every firepower they have been piling up for decades. Nations rising against nation. Kingdoms against kingdoms. Races against races. Tribes against tribes. Who can survive such catastrophic disaster? What will be the geographic nature after such disaster? It may not look possible, but at this time and age, the possibilities are getting higher. Apostle Paul called it perilous times, which is dangerous times. So George, when a man of God will leave the word of God, what he's supposed to do, I'm telling you that you are wearing a green pant. It is not the word of God. Every one of these countries is prepared. Everyone so prepared for war. According to the scriptures, according to the Bible, is there's gonna be a lot of wars, a lot of fighting. So if you talk about God, is the supreme being. This is much bigger than God. It's, we're talking about the supernatural world that we are supposed to prove that exists. So to me, there, there hasn't been much evidence that proves that, that warrants the existence of any God. This fighting will happen in the world and it will be between Muslims and Christ, Muslims and Jews. One mistake that is going to happen, we found out maybe one superpower gets attacked in one of those nations and then they will do a lot of things that will happen. False prophets, we're seeing a lot of people in churches are taking off clothes, they're eating grass. People are doing hectic things in the name of religion or this, uh, or God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's no religion anymore. Now religion is about making money. You see a pastor, he's busy preaching, and you see an account number there that is protruding through the auto queue. 